What makes a good venture capitalist? These financial wizards, modern day alchemists who can turn startup base metals into tech gold. And what is it that draws people to the business? I'm at Axel Partners here in the heart of London uh, with Max Niederhofer, who has just joined the company, uh, having sold his previous company uh, and decided rather than becoming a serial entrepreneur, was going to become a, a, a venture capitalist. Max, what was the attraction of becoming a venture capitalist? Why not set off again on your own? So I'd been in venture capital for um, a couple of years, uh, previously at a, at a firm called Atlas Venture. And I had a lot of fun as an investor. I actually I made a couple of seed investments on a, on a personal basis myself, and uh, you know I thought I'd be good at it. Um, and so uh, I asked myself, how could I have the big possible, the maximum impact on uh, kind of the entrepreneurial ecosystem in Europe? And um, and I said, you know, it was uh, venture capital. And then I looked around at the firms, and Axel has you know an outstanding team, an incredible portfolio, and um, felt like the right place to go. Okay, it's a slightly unfair question. I mean, I think this is maybe, I don't know what day we're on, day two, day three, or something like that. Um, but what makes a good venture capitalist? And there are plenty of people who think, you know, who must be thinking, oh, great, I'd love to be a VC. Um, you know, what are the good ones? What are the skills? What are the requirements that people have to have? You know, I, I think the, um, the best venture capitalists have uh, some, some form of very rare combination of uh, emotional intelligence and, and smarts, kind of raw processing power. Um, I think they are um, very well networked. Um, they have the analytical capability to understand not just you know markets and business models, but also technologies. So to some extent, they can anticipate the future, and then they invest to build that future. Um, and not least, they're um, they're very effective board members. Um, so I, I think truly helping to build a company is uh, is a core skill. Um, and I think on the on the entrepreneurial side, you really want someone who understands you. You know, has the empathy um, to to understand what you're trying to do with a company, what you're trying to do with your career. And there are a few people out there that, that are just great. You sit down with them, and after half an hour, you go, you know, if, if I could have you as a partner in building this business, we will be more successful. Do, uh, do the best VCs, are the best VCs themselves previously entrepreneurs? In other words, they've had that experience, they've been down that road. Is that, is that kind of necessary, or, you know, are there other backgrounds you think that people have? So I, I think empirically, it's, it's not been true. Um, so there are, you know, the some of the best venture capitalists internationally have been journalists before or have come even straight out of you know, business school. Um, I think it's becoming more common that people have an entrepreneurial background because it's now become so cheap to start a company that some of the best, I think, uh, apprenticeship you can have as, as uh, a VC is just to have done your own startup. Um, so I think you know, that that's becoming more common. Now, one of the issues we hear a lot in, you know, we talk to European entrepreneurs, talk to European venture capitalists, and the whole kind of European cultural thing is about Europe's attitude to failure. Um, I don't want to make this sound worse than it is, but I mean, from your own background, you did have a, a, a startup when you were in, in Germany that, that perhaps wasn't a great commercial success. How important is that? How important do you think that that is for you in the sense that, you know, you won your spurs, you've had the, you know, you've got the lashings across your bag? No, I, it's actually a very good experience to have. So I look around at some of my friends who are, you know, bankers who have had corporate careers for the last 10, 15 years, and these people have never gotten in touch with, you know, what is really existential failure. You know, looking into the abyss, it it is a um, it grounds you in reality. It 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 shows you that, you know, even if things go wrong, it's not the end of the world. Right, and and it gives you a very healthy respect for you know risk taking and, and the people who get up and do it again. And I think I, for me it was a phenomenal kick in the butt. Excellent, Max. Thank you very much indeed for your time.